All right, I got four viewers already. Okay, cool. Well, thanks for coming in tonight. Bye, Aim. <laughs> My wife is stalking me with our cat. Anyways, uh, thanks for coming in tonight. Uh, I know uh, I've been anxiously awaiting this uh, all day today since uh, about noon when uh, the OPS guy came and rang the doorbell, and I suddenly screamed like a little girl on Twitter that I've got my case. Um, this is my very first case, so this is going to be uh, quite the experience. I don't know if you can see in the background there, I'm kind of an organized nerd. I get a little of that from my wife, but... Uh, um <laughs> Um, but I've got I've got everything mapped out, so hopefully everything should be nice and uh, organized here. So I've got things uh, divided by, uh, between um, half A and half B. If you remember, we're doing uh, half teams. In fact, only one team is split between two different people, uh, the Yankees, go figure. Um, but uh, the difficulty here is that some people wanted to keep half of their duplicates, and some people wanted to keep uh, all of their duplicates. So trying to organize that is going to be a little bit... Uh, a little bit interesting tonight, so I'm going to take these uh, scissors now and get my finger out from the middle of them and crack open this case here. And tonight we're just going to be doing one box, because I honestly, I wish I had the time, but I don't. I have to wake up at 4 o'clock tomorrow morning. And I know, that's no excuse. And uh, hopefully someone from Tops is watching. They said they'd be here. Oh, here official tops case it's cool I've never actually seen one of these before I have a cat who is desperately trying to help us out here um, for those of you who have been with the blog since the early days you might remember a little black and white cat called fidget or Fiji who is all about making custom designed cards. She's the one that's stopping me right now. Okay, so we've got our jumbo boxes in here. They're all sitting in there like that. Very nice. And like I said, I'll just do one. I'll do one a night for the next five nights. The sixth one, if you'll remember, is going to be um, raffled off. And uh, if you haven't done it yet, um, go to the uh, left side of the blog. There's a, there's a sidebar there. Uh, there's a PayPal donate button. You click that. Five dollars will go to the Make-A-Wish Foundation, and then you get entered to win one of these jumbo boxes, which will be delivered sealed directly to you. Let's uh, get on with the first box here. Jumbo box right there. Put that over there so we can see that I'm not... Uh, being a sneaky guy. Um, so 10 packs, 50 cards per pack. Um, there's advertised three hits per jumbo box. Um, one autograph, two uh, relic cards in every box, um, which means uh, we'll be opening uh, about 15 hits, which means uh, uh, at least 15 of you will probably be getting, due to the skunk rule, a uh, $5 refund. Um, worst case scenario is that I pull absolutely zero hits, which would be unheard of, in which case uh, Tops will be getting a nice uh, <laughs> email, or uh, Tops support will get a nice twi Twitter message from me. First pack. This is going to go kind of quickly here. I'm going to focus more on the more interesting cards than the uh, base cards. And, yep, I don't need the scissors. The 
someone was joking with me today that I should, uh, because I use my scissors instead of actually just tearing it open, I should change my name from cracking wax to gently massaging wax. <laughs> okay. So here we go. First few cards here. If I happen to notice any short uh, prints, I'll uh, point those out here. And not, no, not, I don't think that's one. The, uh, the out of bounds short prints are kind of a uh, little deceiving because, from what I understand, some of the uh, regular cards fit the criteria for the out of bounds short prints. So it can be hard to tell unless you've got the list right in front of you or you happen to know what's what. Interesting collation here. I'm seeing a lot of uh, um, landscape insets and then portraits insets. So there's uh, card number 331, Jose Reyes. And we've got our first uh, gold porter, Hunter Pence there. Emerald of Bryce Harper. That's not a bad one to have. Um, Chasing History, Warren Spahn. Chasing the Dream, Mike Trout. Million Dollar Code Card. I'll kind of keep those in the stack over there. Uh, U Darvish Mini, nice. And then I think we have a hit right here. And whoever has Cleveland Indians has the hit. It's a wood bat, uh, Albert Bell. So congratulations to the owner of the Indians there. There's the first hit of the night. Uh, and just back to the rest of the base cards. This is pretty much typical from jumbo packs from tops that I've seen in the past where they stuff all the uh, inserts and the hits right in the middle of the pack. So first pack out of the case and we've got a hit already. And I'm, I'm really enjoying the um, throwback uniforms on a lot of these cards. This camera may have been uh, old school Padres uniforms, really cool. So far so good? Not bad, not bad. And of course, all the cards from this first box, as well as the second box, and the first half of the third box, are going to be designated as half A. The remaining cards will be half B. So any uh, doubles that are being shared from half, what, uh, half A will go into that part of Community Dupes. Second pack. These are really nice cards. I like the. I know I mentioned this with the uh, Blaster Buster, but I like the uh, the card stock that it seems like you know they've been using quite a bit of. Oh, Denard Span, his Final Twins card. Um, but the uh, the coating this time around, um, it feels closer to photo paper. Um, and I don't necessarily mean that in a bad way. It just feels, uh, boo, Delman Young. Uh, it just feels a lot more professional. Oh, AJ Prison's game. Pulling a lot of guys that I don't like. <laughs> don't worry, Aim. I'll pull a uh, Canerco or, no, uh, who's the one? Not Canerco. Euclid. That's the one. Oh. Yeah. So, Emerald of Addison Reed. It's a Topps uh, Rookie Cup. Chasing History, George Brett. Chasing the Dream, Tommy Malone. Another code card. We've got a die cut. It's a nice Carlos Gonzalez cut to the chase. Then we've got a mini of Carlos Gonzalez. And back to the base cards. Joe Maurer. And as quickly as I'm whipping through these, again, I haven't really noticed if uh, I've come across any short prints here. Um, if anyone happens to notice, feel free to comment on the blog. I'm not in the chat room. If, any, if you guys are in the chat room, that's cool, but I'm, I don't have my computer up here, so. Hey, I got one peeled open without the scissors. Well, that's how you crack some wax. <laughs> My wife for the commentary. I don't know if you're hearing her back there, but... Uh... 
we were going, oh, Joe Nathan. We were going over uh, possible names instead of just saying Amy. I was going to call her Mrs. Wax, and she wasn't very thrilled with that name. <laughs> Josh Willingham. I know he's got a short print. This one is not it. David DeJesus. I uh, used his card um, to kind of illustrate um, what I felt was really the only distracting part of the base cards, in my, in my opinion anyway, and that was the faded striping at the bottom. A lot of people seem to like it, but I was just not, just me. Detroit Tigers, Justin Verlander, my brother-in-law, I swear, is his doppelganger. Then we've got Emerald of Daniel, is it Nava, Nava? Chasing History, Derek Jeter. Suze, I don't think this is your half, so I don't... Let's see, I'm looking here. Oh, Suze, it is your half. So, Suze, this is your card. Jesus Montero, Chasing the Dream. Another code card over there. And we've got a nice The Greats of Roy Halliday. And then a calling card. Kevin Euclid, your favorite. Oh, <laughs> Complete with his batting stance. He's in his uh, White Sox uni there. So This is the second calling card that I've pulled total. This is the first one of the case. I pulled a calling card of Albert Pujols out of the blaster yesterday. Uh, many of Matt Kemp. And back to the base cards. Seeing some of these that I've already pulled um, yesterday. Kind of in the same order, but not completely. Wilson Ramos, former twin, also former abductee. I feel I still feel bad for the guy. This just sucks. Andy Pettit, record chase, 250 wins. Okay, fourth attack is coming up here. Looks like one, two, three. Yep. All right. So pack number four of ten. I'm glad I'm splitting this up over the next few nights because I completely underestimated just how many cards I've got here. Let's see, what is it? 500 cards in a box, six, no, five boxes we're doing. So, yeah. What is that? 2,500 cards we'll be going through. AJ Burnett, Raphael for Calm, Brett Laurie. Some nice Brocks in there. Derek Lowe. Another darn span, so whoever has the twins there, you're, you're, I don't know, you are, it is, oh, Michael, and you're keeping your dupes, so you've got two spans. That's why I'm glad I've got my map in front of me here. You guys see that behind the box here? I've got my map. <laughs> Michael Saunders, Andrew Jones. Oops. Sorry, I'm not really paying attention to the camera. I'm paying attention to the cards here. Shame on me. Another Pierzynski. So I am pulling some dupes just out of this first box here. Ooh, but we got a nice, I believe it's a one of one. And it is, I believe, the Platinum Parallel. I'll have to check the back, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a one of one. So everyone has the diamond backs here. Gerardo Parra. Nope, it's not. I lied. It's not the, it's not the one of one. It's a, of 62. Um, still a good pull, though. Uh, then we've got uh, an Emerald of Chad Billingsley. And uh, I believe we have we have a hit here. I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, we don't. Ah, that would have been awesome if it was. Because it's Nolan Ryan, Chasing History insert. Jacob Turner, Chasing the Dream. Another code card. Josh Reddick Mini. Back to the base cards. Another Joe Maurer, another Axford, another Josh Beckett, Alex Rios. So yeah, just out of this box, I'm noticing already four packs in. There's a former twin, Craig Breslow. We're already getting a few doubles here. So this is exactly why, though, I thought it'd be a good idea to do community dupes so that uh, 
we would get a bunch of doubles and maybe a lot of people would be able to get a good portion of the complete base set instead of just their own team set taken care of. So. Alright, so we're at the halfway mark here. This is pack number five. Ryan Howard there. Luis Ayala, another former twin. Adrian Gonzalez. I pulled an autograph of, of his out of a Gypsy Queen blaster last year. It was kind of cool. O'Shaver. Brian Fuentes, cup of coffee with the Twins. I think he lasted like a month or two. Kevin Correa, he's a new pitcher for the Twins, just signed. <clears throat> I know everyone that's watching this cares. <laughs> Holiday wild card. Ted Lilly. Chris Sale. We've got a gold border parallel of Starlin Castro. Another emerald. This one is Yonder Alonzo. Then we got a chasing history of Tom Seaver. Chasing the Dream of Will Middlebrooks, Code Card, and Paul Canerco Mini, and I'm guessing this is a hit, because I'm seeing an autograph. It's Doc Gooden, holy crap. Dwight Gooden autograph. So who's got the Mets here? I wouldn't be surprised if it's Mike. Let me check. Mets, 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 Mets. Mike, congratulations, you've got a Doc Gooden autograph, Chasing History. Awesome. And back to the base. So that's the second hit of this box. Looking for one more relic. We've got the one autograph and one of the two relics. And we're halfway through the first jumbo box. There's a, there's this Jerkson Profar card. I uh, Now that I'm looking at this one, this one doesn't seem as messed up as the one that I pulled before. I, uh, I kind of did uh, uh, exploratory uh, photoshopping on this Jerkson profile that I pulled earlier that I'll, uh, I'll put up on the blog at a later date. Um, it just kind of goes to show that uh, sometimes tops, when they do their photoshopping, um, they don't always get it perfect. They've been doing a hell of a job with photoshopping uh, uniforms and stuff lately, but... Uh, Sometimes things just don't look quite right, and that card is one of the examples of that. Pack number six. All right, Dickie. Throwback uniform, Mr. Cyan. Again, another, another former twin. Kutch, JJ Putz, and a throwback. Grandy Man, Ryan Braun. Eucalyptus again. <laughs> my wife is scoffing in the background you know if I happen to pull an autographed relic of uh, Euclid I'm, uh, I'm just going to give it to you <laughs> again not really noticing short prints just yet might have gone past one and not really paid attention but who knows uh, Ian Kennedy Gold Border Emerald Board of Norichi, Norichika Yoki, sorry, I'm terrible with that. Oh, we got a Babe Ruth Chasing History insert. And Drew Hutchinson Chasing the Dream. Code card and the mini is Adam Jones. And we've got a Spring Fever Baseball insert. I'll go with the code cards. And back to the base. Josh Johnson, B dubs. Hi, kitties. If you guys jump up here and smash into these nice Houston logo, smash into these cards, I will not be very happy.
That's the other thing I kind of want to... I was... I noticed when they were first showing the cards online on Twitter, I didn't feel right about how the weird placement of like the Topps Rookie Cup and the Rookie logo. And they all seem to be sitting in this weird area, and they're just kind of floating there in this weird spot. Not really lined up with anything. Not really anchored to anything. I just kind of feel like if it went over here, you know, up in that top corner, it would look so much better. Again, what do I know? It's not that these cards don't look great. It's some of the better looking top flagship cards I've seen in a while. And I dropped a viewer. Someone was bored with me already. <clears throat> Josh Reddick. Now, is this one of the short prints? That looks like it might be. Not entirely sure. Harper. Everyone's seen this card a billion times already. John Lowry. Kind of feel bad for Charles, who uh, ended up not being able to get in on this because of a uh, certain situation that has since been re resolved. He uh, He's now working again, which is good for him. But I'm pulling all these Astros that he's not getting hold of. Josh Reddick. So no, that is not a, a short print. I know this because I just pulled the gold border parallel of that. And we've got an emerald foil of My Series Taurus. Got CC Sabathia chasing history. Casey Kelly chasing the dream. Code card and the great Chippa. Nice Chippa. Now what's behind it here? Oh, it's a comic. Now these. I didn't realize how thick these uh, the greats cards are. But I do have another calling card here. This one is a big poppy. David Ortiz, uh, another former twin. Many of Felix Hernandez, King Felix. Weva. Throwback of Ricky Weeks. Hugh Darvish again. Big time Timmy Jim. Cliff Lee. John Rush, another former twin. Davis. Tyler Clifford, no, it, that just looks like it hurts. I know it doesn't, but that just looks like it hurts. <laughs> Johan, no, I don't even even need to tell you who he used to play for. Rajai Davis, cool card, actually. And there's that floating rookie card logo again. Okay, we are in pack number eight of box number one. Haven't been attacked by any cats yet. That's a positive in my world. I was doing a, a test earlier, and uh, whew, let me just tell you right now, I have a monstrously thick card right here. We have a hit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull all the other cards underneath it away Put it up front, so that'll be the last card. Everyone sees the U Darvish Mini. Let me continue on with my story, though. I was doing a test run of this earlier today, and uh, Fiji, the, the um, How to Create a Baseball Card Cat, was uh, nosing up to the camera and just about knocked it over. She was sniffing it. And trust me, the camera doesn't smell that great. Uh, U Darvish Mini to start. Mike Miner, Tommy Hunter, Big Tex, another Joe Maurer. Axford again. Well, I'm 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 excited as heck to figure to find out what that uh, huge that is the thickest card I've ever personally pulled, and I cannot wait to see what the heck that is. It may may be the case hit. Justin Masterson, John Danks. 
I know, isn't the suspense just killing you all? This huge hit that I have for the bottom of this pile? Just get going on. I'm not really seeing anything I haven't seen before here in these base cards. We do have a Hank Aaron, though, Chasing History Hank Aaron. Jonathan Nice Chasing the Dream. Got a go, uh, code, uh, code card there. Boy, I'm trying my best here to keep that covered up. Keep that covered up. Boy, this is difficult. There we go. All right, so the final card before we see who the hit is is a foil board of Chad Billingsley. And this monster hit, seriously, I haven't even made cards this thick, is the Atlanta Brave. It's a silver slugger of Dale Murphy. That's a really cool looking card. That is, look how deeply that's embedded. Holy crap. Now, I have to see who has the Braves and who... Man, that is in there. Here's the back of the Dale Murphy. Excellent. Now let me see. Atlanta Braves. Nick. Congratulations, Nick. Nick D. You got this awesome hit. I hope I have a uh, top loader this size. If not, I'll have to figure something out. I thought, I thought I'd gotten the correct size top loader, but I wasn't expecting a card that thick. That's just incredible. Look at that. All right. So we have the penultimate pack. Pack number nine, second to last pack of this box. And uh, I believe I've pulled all the hits that we're going to pull. So this is just basically going to be about quickly flipping through the rest of the base cards and seeing what we've got for inserts, and then, uh, then that'll be it. Oops. There we go. I don't mean to be covering up people's faces here. Okay, so we've got Emerald Foil Board of Miguel Montero. Bob Feller. I've seen him a few times at Twins Fest. I always wondered why he showed up to those. Jared Parker, Chasing the Dream, another code card. Oh, Lord, we got a, a fourth hit in this box. Well, we got a bonus hit here, and it is Silk Collection, Mike Trout. We were not supposed to get four hits, but we got a fourth hit. Very, very nice. So, Angels, Deb, you and your hits, let me tell you, Deb, <laughs> you get more hits than anybody else I've ever met. Uh, Brett Lowry die cut. Very nice looking die cut there. And calling card, Willie Stargell. Mini of Bryce Harper. I'm getting a lot of good uh, minis out of this. Uh, Ivan Nova, Michael Young, and the rest of the base cards here. Daisuke, haven't seen him for a while. Joe Blanton, Jonathan Neese. I hear a cat coming this way. Hi, Fidge. Don't touch these cards, Fidgey. All right. Well, the uh, four hits in the one box makes me wonder if uh, either the Silver Slugger or the Silk card was the case hit. Or maybe not. Maybe we just got lucky and that was just a bonus. Hello, Fidget. You get down now. Say hello to everyone. Hello. Say hello. Okay, bye now. <laughs> Final pack. Uh, Tim Hill, 
Capicola. There we go. Freddie Freeman. Under Ethier. Sabatier. Another King Felix. Beltre. Edwin Jackson. You know, if, if I just bought this jumbo box for my for myself, I'd be awfully happy with what I got out of out of the hits there. That's damn good hits out of the, this box. And this is only the first box. Very cool just, you know, being able to open this up. I mean, even though I'm not keeping any of these cards, it's just kind of cool to, to see them firsthand. Foil board of Adam Wainwright. Another Babe Ruth chasing history. Um, Drew Hutchinson chasing dream. Code card, another die cut. Ooh, Roberto Clemente. Very nice. And another calling card. CC Sabathia. Colby Rasmus Mini. And then back to the base cards. A couple of rookie cards to finish out here. Albert Pujols. And last card, Darren Ruff. He's rough. Oh, that is it. Man, well, that was a pretty darn good way to start the case break. Um, four hits instead of three. I suspect one of those, either the Silver Slugger or the Silk Collection card that was pulled was the case hit. Um, I don't know that there was actually an advertised case hit, but I'm guessing there there is one since there was four instead of three. Um, darn good box. Good way to start things off. Got uh, four more to go, so we're going to do this again uh, same time tomorrow night, 7 o'clock Central, and we'll keep going uh, Sunday because of the Super Bowl. I'll do it at halftime. It'll probably overrun a little bit, um, but that's okay. Um, I'd rather do it then instead of, you know, during the game anyway. Uh, Monday will be the fifth and final box. The sixth box will be raffled off um, on Thursday night at 7 p.m. Central. If you haven't done it already, um, please uh, go ahead and go to the left sidebar on Crack and Wax and uh, go to the uh, PayPal donate button. Uh, you click that, $5 goes to the Make-A-Wish Foundation and you get signed up to win one of these jumbo boxes. And by the looks of the cards here, um, that $5 is going to go a long way <laughs> for your cards if that's what you're after. So. Um, I'll uh, get going on organizing these, and uh, I'll probably show the pictures of the hits uh, just to kind of share them with everyone else. Otherwise, see you tomorrow night. Thanks for coming in. Have a good night.